The Donovan Mitchell sweepstakes are over. And the winners are the Cleveland Cavaliers. Breaking news. The Cleveland Cavaliers have just acquired superstar Donovan Mitchell from the Utah Jazz in exchange for some players and three, count them three, unprotected first round picks. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how it all went down. We knew that the reports came out right around the time free agency kicked off in the NBA that Donovan Mitchell was likely on the outs with the Utah Jazz. The report then followed up as the Jazz were shopping him. And we talked about it before. Are the Knicks a potential spot? Could he make his way over to Boston? Maybe he unites somewhere with KD because he was another domino. The KD domino fell because he's staying in in Brooklyn. And then the other big domino we've been waiting to see would fall was Donovan Mitchell. Rudy Gobert, of course, was shipped away earlier on in the offseason to the Minnesota Timberwolves for four, count of four, first round picks. And now Donovan Mitchell is going to my Cleveland Cavaliers in exchange for three unprotected firsts and um, some key players, including Laurie Markkinen and Colin Sexton. So somehow, in all of this, right, the Cleveland Cavaliers were able to get Donovan Mitchell, a superstar who is, I believe, 25 years old. He just signed an extension in the previous season, so like the before last season, so... He's got a few years left on his deal. More than a few years left on his deal. And you're telling me that we did all that. We got him and we trade away some picks that were probably going to be some trash players anyway. We trade away those picks. And all we had to give up was Colin Sexton and, and, and Laurie Markkinen. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Colin Sexton. I like Laurie Markkinen's game. But... Well, you're telling me we did we did all that? We didn't even have to give up Darius Garland, who's like the guy on our team right now? I mean, obviously now the guy is Donovan Mitchell. You're going to see me walking around in a Donovan Mitchell jersey the entire NBA season. Know that. But the Cleveland Cavaliers, a team that has been ridiculed to no end since LeBron left both times, has just pulled off somehow, some way, a miraculous deal. Like, Donovan Mitchell has has been averaging 20 points per game his entire career in the NBA. This is a guy that people were like, this is the next generation, or or, or like the next, this next generation's top scorer. He's like that guy. He's one of the best scorers in the game. He is, he's the future of the game. You're telling me we got him for this? This is a steal. Rudy Gobert went for first four, four, four first round picks. We gave up three, okay, and we gave up Colin Sexton and, and Laurie Markkinen, both of whom can play in the NBA. Don't get me wrong, but I thought Laurie Markkinen had some had some uh, didn't really fit too well, honestly, with what the Cavs were trying to do. And on top of that, on top of all of that, you have Colin Sex or Colin Sexton, who I really like his game. He was unhealthy last year. He wasn't really a big part of that playoff push that the Cavs had. So. In the end, the Cleveland Cavaliers just pulled this off. Now they're going to be able to get fans to come to the games. And they're going to be able to compete. Here's the thing. This basic core that the Cavs still have together. And they also have Evan Mobley. Don't forget about him. One of the best rookies last year, Evan Mobley. You pair him with Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland. That is scary. And that's scary now. Because Evan Mobley is only going to get better. Darius Garland's just, just hitting his stride. And Donovan Mitchell's in the prime of his career for the next foreseeable future. People gonna people gonna joke about it. People are gonna be like, oh, you're you you're you're just capping. That's your team, you're just capping. People are gonna say that oh, they're they're still young. Make no bones about it. Young teams make statements in the NBA. And young teams can win in the NBA. And the Cavs are no different. And on top of that, right, on top of all of this, like, pe- people act like the Cavs, you know, like, we've been a joke. Yes, we have been a joke without LeBron. But we've been building a culture. J.B. Bickerstaff, he's like the one guy who, who whatever you want to say, it's worked. The cultural shift with J- under J.B. Bickerstaff has worked. And that's a guy who commands respect, who the players respect, who other teams respect. And 
a guy who honestly has been able, who I think will able, be able, I should say, to do wonders uh, with Donovan Mitchell uh, at his at at his disposal. There, this a great day if you're a Cleveland Cavalier. If you're a New York Knicks fan, I mean, like, what did you expect? You guys were che- you guys were cheering about how uh, Jalen Brunson is the big get of free agency. We we won free agency because we got Jalen Brunson, and in the end. The Cavs didn't even sign anyone. We just traded for Donovan Mitchell. Cavs won free agency. Cleveland, a chip is coming your way very soon, guys. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Next season's going to be so much fun. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released.